S24 Ultra is basically had as well. So you can take out the S Pen by basically tapping into this button. So click into it, and it's a little button that basically comes out. So what you can do is slide this button out just like this, and you will see you'll get this little prompt for the S Pen. So now what you can do is you can start using this S Pen as you normally would. So now if you want to, you can go through and basically tap into this S Pen just like this. You can follow prompts with it. And you have this type of really cool capability now. Now if you want to, you can use this as a normal stylus. So as you swipe through, you can see it's a standard stylus, the way it looks. You have your button at the end that you can kind of click into. You have also a little button right there, which you can click into as well. So that gives you a little bit more like air controls or air gestures. So if you hold it over and if you kind of like hold it over the display and you kind of click into it, you have that type of capability, so that is something that's cool. Now within the stylus itself, you can see you have all these different types of you know tools that you can select. So you have drawing assist, you have AI select, you have create note, and you have screen write. So these are different types of configurations that you basically have. So you can tap on one, like if you want this one, this like a Galaxy Eye Advanced feature, whatever, you can enable it if you want to. You're gonna have to log into your Samsung account. But you can go through and kind of modify it that way as well, which I think is really cool. You can then go through and even like with AI select, you can select something within the display itself and you can go and have, you know, kind of find more information about this. It's basically like Google Lens almost. So it is actually something that's really cool as well. So you can go through and kind of modify that as well. And then you have things like create a note. If you want to quickly create a note, you can go through and just quickly write, write down something if you want to. So that in and of itself is another really cool thing. You can just go through right here, tap on high, so you can go do that as well. So that's something that's really awesome. And then at the very end right here, you have the screen write option too. And you can also click on add and you can start adding these other basically shortcuts to your S Pen dialog here as well. So that is something that's really cool here too. You can kind of mess around with that whichever way you want to. You click on the home button right here and you'll basically come back home. Now, if you want to go and charge this thing, this thing charges basically just by being plugged into here, which is really cool. And also if you turn off the phone, right, if your S Pen is connected, if your S Pen's connected, right, and if you want to quickly write a note, you can also just tap into this note right here. You can pull this thing out, and then you can start writing a note on your display, like, immediately. So that is something that's really, really cool. Just, like, immediately from booting up your phone, you have that type of capability right there, which is actually very awesome. So I think that in and of itself is another really cool thing that you can basically kind of mess around with and see from that particular situation as well. So the last thing I kind of want to demonstrate is your settings application.